In a year, massive protests erupted across the nation. It led to a change in the regime. The former president was driven out to the country. Hundreds of demonstrators gathered in Sri Lanka's capital this Friday. They took to streets, urging the government to step down and calling for reforms. The event completed its full circle as one year back, anti-government protests forced the then president to flee the country. Many held Gotabaya Rajapaksa responsible for his economic policies, leading to the worst economic crisis that the nation had experienced in almost seven decades. But the struggle is still in the hearts and minds of the people. So therefore, when the struggle disappeared due to suppression, uh, due to various activities, illegal action taken against them, illegal action mostly, the people are scared now to come and agitate, come and shout, come and ask for their fundamental rights. They have got scared. But I believe that people have to awake, people must, people must get organized. It is very peaceful, it is non-political, it is uh, unarmed, but a struggle towards uh, a social revolution. Last year, the island nation had gone bankrupt with empty foreign reserves and residents unable to purchase basic essentials like food, fuel and medicine, angry protesters thronged the presidential secretariat and the acting president, Ranil Wickremesinghe, declared a nationwide state of emergency. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.